Okay, I gotta get real. Hey guys, this is my review for The Last Jedi Episode 8, otherwise known for the Star Wars canon universe, and... Well, let me... Let me just describe the movie first. So the film picks up after The Force Awakens. We have the Rebels on the run from the First Order as the Republic is gone. Basically the First Order eliminated the entire democracy and the whole ideal of what the Republic is. So it's really now a, a battle of who's left standing. The Resistance, who is currently outnumbered while they did destroy the Starkiller base. It, it's fucking Empire Strike Back. It, you, you know this. Everyone knew that walking in they were going to get a lot of Empire Strike Back business. All the while, Rey is trying to trying to get a very, very, very grumpy Mark Hamill to train her in the way of the Force and to come back to the light. I won't spoil anything in this video, but least to say, I have... I don't want to think this way about this movie, but I have to. There are a lot of very cool things in this movie. Cool moments, cool visuals, really cool ideas in terms of the planets, in terms of actions by characters, in terms of connections between characters. But there is so much garbage in between all of it. There are several scenes that go nowhere have no purpose, are literally are there for fucking dramatic effect and for no other reason. You want an example? They go to a planet at one point that's a casino planet, fucking nothing comes of it. You could say, well, the character that they pick up there it has a point in the story. No, he fucking doesn't. There is no point to the entirety of the casino planet. There is a sort of a rift between the resistance members at one point, between who's in charge and this kind of convoluted plan. Where does that go? Fucking nowhere. There is so many parts of this film that are disconnected. There's a lot of elements that just feel like they're parts that were really good, like these really cool little elements, but they're unfortunately put into a very, very biodegradable sandwich. I don't know how to say it otherwise, guys. It's just, it's not well constructed. There's a lot of really cool, really amazing moments. There's a few moments that made me totally drop my jaw. But otherwise, there's a lot of filler that's just unnecessary. There's a lot of moments that don't connect. For instance, The Force Awakens. I had issues with it that Rey was a Mary Sue and that the movie was exactly a replica of A New Hope. Well, for this one, we've got Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as moments that they're totally copying. Which admittedly, I am looking forward to seeing 9 now for that reason, because they have nothing left to rip off. So we will be getting something that is original, at least uh, that or they're going to just do a copy and paste of all three. But everyone in this movie is really good in terms of how they do their character. Ray, I, I think Des, De, Daisy Ridley did a lot better job of character. Uh, John Boyega is really awesome as Finn. He's not given a lot of time in this movie. That's the other thing too. There's a lot of focus on Ray and Mark Hamill. And I like that. I do admit, I like that they do spend time with a character that we were looking for the entirety of the first movie. But we spend so much time that the rest of the film just slowly drags on. Mark Mark Hamill is really good though. This is probably Mark Hamill's best on-screen performance, I think, ever. I think this is the best version of Luke we've ever seen. This is a very convoluted, this is a very conflicted, this is a very given up Luke. This is a side of Luke that we never thought we would see. Kylo Ren, I think that, you know what, that guy is doing really good. I think that how his character is connected with Rey and his past aggressions with Luke and just the means in which his character develops through the movie is really intriguing until the end. And then it just goes for straight up like the completely most stereotypical avenue you could go. Like I said, I really want to like this movie, guys. There are some really cool moments. There's a super dope lightsaber fight scene at one point in this movie. There's a really dope pew 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 firing space moment. There's one moment that literally, like I said, everyone dropped their fucking jaw. But this is how I know that I am not in the wrong, or I'm not alone with how I feel about this. 
the crowd didn't clap. Now, a lot of you guys are like, oh, fuck, why are people clapping at movies? Well, admittedly, it's a kind of a weird thing. I'm not gonna say that it's not odd. But, you know, if you enjoyed it, you know, on an opening night, a lot of people are like, ooh, yeah, that was cool, cool, great time. No one. One guy tried to, and it sounded like a pathetic attempt to try and revive a dead dog. That's honestly, it, it, it's, it, that's an incredibly dark <laughs> metaphor there. But that's literally what happened at the end of this movie. No one was whoopity doop about it. And that's how I feel about this movie. I, w I would rather watch The Force Awakens in this movie. Not saying The Force Awakens is bad. I enjoy The Force Awakens. But Force Awakens is a well-constructed, very consistent, very well-thought-out movie. The Last Jedi is a mess with some really cool moments in it, but ultimately kind of leaves you wondering how the hell they are going to do the next one. So in the end, guys, my rating for The Last Jedi is a 3 out of 7. I know. Now here's the thing. While it is technically a negative, it is still an enjoyable movie. I have given enjoyable movies that I could watch a 3 before. And they, most of those movies were dumb movies, but enjoyably dumb movies. This is an enjoyable movie, it's just a disappointing one. An incredibly disappointing one. Anyways guys, that's my review for this. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me, that's just my opinion. I just, that's how I felt. Maybe I'll feel different in a few days, but honestly, guys, usually when I first watch a movie, that's how I feel, and I'm sorry to have this sort of thought about it, but honestly, that is how I feel about The Last Jedi. And I know I'm not alone because of how many quiet people left that theater. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, leave a like, if you want to watch more, maybe subscribe. Just don't say you want to kill me because of this. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do for watching my vids. And we'll see. I'm going to do a spoiler video for fucking sure, though. See you guys later.